Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers interactive whiteboard tools that can be used with Google Meet. When you are in a video conference like Google Meet, a valuable tool to have is a digital interactive whiteboard. You can use this to give instruction, like a math teacher working out a problem. Or it can be collaborative, where everybody in the meeting is working together to brainstorm or design or complete an interactive activity. Unfortunately, Google Meet does not have a built-in whiteboard tool. However, there are many excellent whiteboard tools that can be used with Google Meet. In this video, we'll take a quick look at two free and easy to use tools from Google that can be used as digital whiteboards. Google's Jamboard and Google's Chrome Canvas. First, we will look at Google's Chrome Canvas, which can be found at canvas.apps.chrome. Chrome Canvas is a very simple whiteboard tool. It is not collaborative, so it would just be you showing what you are writing to the other attendees. Here's how this would work. You would start your Google Meet like normal and have everyone else join. Then in another tab, you would open up the Chrome Canvas website. Now back in Meet, you would present your screen so the attendees can see your whiteboard. You would go down to the bottom right corner and click Present Now, and then choose a window from the menu. You can now choose the window that has your Google Meet, and then click on the Share button. Now that you're presenting, you can move back to the tab that has Chrome Canvas in it, and everyone in the Meet will be able to see what you write and draw. From the Chrome Canvas screen, you can open an existing drawing, or click the New Drawing button in the top left-hand corner to make a new one. The tools for Chrome Canvas are very simple and include a color choice option, line thickness, a pencil, pen, marker, chalk, and eraser. Just select your tool and write. When done, if you want, you can download what you created by clicking the three dots button in the top right corner and choosing Save as Image. One more thing you can do with Chrome Canvas is to annotate an existing image. If we go back to the home page, we can click the New from Image button, which will let us upload an image. We can now use the same tools to annotate on top of the image. When done, don't forget to go back to the Meet and stop presenting your screen. Next, we'll look at our second tool, Google's Jamboard. This is a more powerful tool that does allow for collaboration, so if you want, your attendees can work on this whiteboard with you. You can get to Jamboard at jamboard.google.com. Just like before, you'll want to have Jamboard opened in one tab, and then go back to your Google Meet screen and present your screen as normal by clicking Present Now, Window, and then choosing the window that has your Meet and clicking Share. You can now go back to the Jamboard screen so your attendees can see what you are writing or drawing. On the Jamboard homepage, you can open an existing Jam, or you can click the plus button in the bottom right-hand corner to create a new Jam. The toolbar on the left includes many of the tools, including a pen, marker, highlighter, and brush, as well as color choices, which you can use to write and draw with. Then there is an eraser tool and a selection tool. Next, there's a sticky note tool that you can use to add text and a variety of colors. After adding the note, you can move, resize, and rotate the note as needed. Next, there is an Add Image button, which will allow you to upload a picture or do a Google search for an image. We can choose an image and click Select to insert it. After you add the image, you can move it, resize it, and rotate it as well. You can also use the other tools 
to annotate on top of the image. The last button in the toolbar is the laser tool that allows you to point out things on your whiteboard. In addition to the toolbar, you can also change the background. This can be done in the top left hand corner and includes backgrounds such as a lined background or graph paper. Another big difference with Jamboard is the option to add multiple pages. Simply click on the arrows at the top of the screen to add more pages or to move back and forth between pages. This can let you keep making several pages of notes on your whiteboard for all of your content. This is all great for when you want to present information, but one of the most powerful features of Jamboard is the ability to collaborate. You can share the Jam with the attendees in your Google Meet just like you would share a normal Google document. Simply click on the Share button in the top right hand corner. Now you can share the Jam with specific people by entering their names or email addresses. Or instead of sharing it with specific people, we can get a shareable link so that anyone can access it. At the moment, this jam is private only to me, so I'll click the change link next to private. And now I'll choose the option for anyone with the link. And I'll choose the option for can edit. Now we'll simply click save. I can now copy this link and give that to all the attendees in my Google Meet. I'll now switch back over to the Meet tab and I'll click on the chat icon in the top right hand corner and then I'll paste in the link and share it in the chat with the rest of the members of the Meet. We'll now switch to a student and open the Jam from the link in the chat. The student can now write and draw on the whiteboard with me. Now let's go back to the teacher account and let's say I'm demonstrating how to write the letter A. We can now switch back over to the student and they can now write on the jam to show their work. If you really want to get creative, you can even use Jamboard to make interactive drag and drop activities like this one where I've added pictures and sticky notes that the student can drag and drop to show their understanding. The last feature to mention about Jamboard is the option to download all of the whiteboard pages as a PDF. Just click the three dots button in the top right hand corner and choose download as PDF to have a copy of the notes, which can also be given to others as needed. When done using the Jam, don't forget to go back over to Google Meet and stop presenting your screen as usual. In addition to Chrome Canvas and Jamboard, there are many other online whiteboard tools that you can use in conjunction with Google Meet simply by presenting your screen. So those are the basics for how to use some interactive whiteboard tools with Google Meet. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meetvideos.